In like 89, 90, a couple days, and he's saying it's not going to peak for a while. I'm not <laughs> sure I love that, you know? No, none of it sounds good, right? Let's check in tonight, and unfortunately, we're in for this long stretch of hot weather. Yeah, this is going to be a notable stretch of heat for us around here. Not that it's going to be extreme heat, so to speak, but it's going to be hot for July over the next really 10 days. In fact, starting tomorrow, it's 90s for the foreseeable future. So let's get into this holiday weekend. Whatever your events are, you have scheduled or planned. The good news, you're in pretty good shape all the days here. It appears right now this evening, Friday, Saturday, the 4th there and Sunday as well. You're in good shape for pulling out that grill. But boy, are you going to sweat? Make sure you stay well hydrated through the holiday weekend. Now, if there's any saving grace, it's the fact that as we start this prolonged stretch of hot weather, it looks like humidity levels will be tolerable, at least initially. You can see here we're in the 90s moving forward right into next week. Again, this afternoon, it's turned out to be very comfortable. I think tomorrow, despite the fact we're in the low 90s, humidity levels will make it, you know, tolerable. It's July, right? So it should be hot. Nothing extreme here. Humidity levels will begin to creep their way up through the 4th of July weekend, but I still think they're tolerable. By early next week, though, those humidity levels will get into the oppressive range, and I wouldn't be surprised by the time we get to maybe Monday or Tuesday, certainly the middle part of next week. We're not talking heat advisories around here. Now, in regards to the rain threat, you know what? Very low through the holiday weekend. In fact, they really won't climb back up until next week. And of course, synonymous with summer here in the Ohio Valley, poor air quality as well, with the air being pretty stagnant. No ma major weather systems to speak of. Poor air quality could be a concern as well heading through the weekend. So outside right now, we had that nice refreshing push of air, that less humid air that's moved in. Notice skies are blue and just a few fair weather clouds out there. 88 degrees officially at the airport. Got ourselves a nice refreshing northeasterly breeze. It's still warm though, 92 in Loveland, 91 in Mason. There's some 80s out there as well, but everyone will be in the 90s over the upcoming weekend. So we've been tracking this little frontal boundary because it was the dividing line between muggy air to our south and that northeast wind that we feel today that's been slowly bringing in less humid air. And you can see the effects tonight. Look at these dew points in the 50s and 60s. That means even this evening, for example, will be pretty comfortable. The evenings over the weekend, not bad, but not quite as comfortable as it will be tonight. Early next week, though, it's going to be quite uncomfortable out. So you can see here over the past six hours, look at that, our dew point continues to drop. In fact, it's entered the comfortable range. So a comfortably warm evening will be in the 80s through about nine o'clock, and then we'll begin to slip our way down into the 70s. Future cast is pretty quiet out there with no major weather systems to speak of. Nothing but sunshine on the deck here for the next couple of days around the region, and it looks like even into Saturday, again, mostly sunny skies for the 4th. So a comfortably pleasant night tonight with that drop in humidity will dip down to about 68 for a low tomorrow. Hot sunshine, but still comfortable 91 for an afternoon high. Here's your day planner. You'll see how quickly we start to heat up. It will already be hot by noon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Good news. If you're traveling by car anywhere over the weekend, the weather won't be much of an issue. But boy, look at those temperatures again early on. Mike and Cherie with the low humidity heat in the seas will be generally in the mid to upper 90s early next week. It will start to feel like it's in excess of 100. So by early next week, too, we'll probably start having again some heat advisories and notice we're in the 90s as long as the seven day goes out. Yeah, not triple digits, but it's mm, as far yeah. up as you can go Boy, in that double digit. If you can digit. find a pool, yep. right?